the 49ers Club Championship. And Deion Sanders will take it out of the zone, end zone, out to the 28. You have Monster on the left there, scheming on the right. These gentlemen are preparing for a championship match to be crowned the champion of the San Francisco 49ers Club Series event. They'll be competing for not only cash here today, but a chance to go to Burbank, California to compete in the Club Series Finals on April 15th. Both these guys are here to win this tournament. You have the number 15th ranked player in the world in Monster going against the number 42 ranked player in the world on the right in Scheman. Well, Scheman's got an opportunity to move up here and not only move up in the series points, but also move on to Burbank. And so Scheman will start with a rock at the 28-yard line. And boy, has he been focused. You're, you're right. I mean, you know, we saw Scheman early in the year. He's a different player than the guy that stepped in here today. He really is. You know, he, he's showing the composure, and he's showing that he puts a lot of preparation to everything he, he does. And, and just talking with him before the games here today, he really just talked a lot about how he wants to understand each moment. And Lynch gets it going. I warned you off the start, there's a 15-yard gain. Marshawn Lynch is what gets his offense going here, and to win this championship, he's going to need to have him have a great day on the ground. So first and 10, after the big gain from Lynch to the 43-yard line. You know, just actually before this game started, I was talking to the couple of the, guy, the other players. I was talking to uh, Niner, I was talking to B-Guard, and they were talking about the way Scheman likes to play defensively. And it's one of the toughest matchups to face when you're playing a game of Madden. He likes to be able to drop a lot of players in coverage and then disguise his blitzes. Where most players are, are comfortable consistently blitzing. Uh, and that's what is a difficult for, uh, thing when you face a guy like Scheman. Scheman's been a tough out in this tournament thus far. Second and 10 at the 43. McNair in the gun, trips to the left. And here is Lawrence Taylor. The block shed, enforcing the pressure on McNair. Yeah, Lawrence Taylor right there, you can see he got uh, pressure off that edge. One-on-one -on -one matchup against the tackle. He gets in the backfield, generates the pressure. When you don't have to blitz and you still get pressure on the quarterback, that's a good sign. So third and 10, ball at the 43. Important opening drive here for Scheman. Double edge here. And it's a fumble, it's on the ground. Cue the Benny Hill theme somehow. Julio Jones scoops it up. You gotta pick that ball up. You look at this double edge heater, left edge, right edge, absolutely screaming. Aaron McNair just throws the ball, fumble, but it can't pick up the rock. Mark Barron, for some reason, thought he could kick the ball forward. Not recommended. And on fourth and 28, he'll kick it away. Dion will turn the punt, and he'll get out of bounds at the 36. All right, and, and here, we, here we go. We're going to see this, this high-octane offense here from Monsta. He has a tendency to throw the interceptions because of how quickly and aggressive he likes to play. Uh, from his passing offense, we see a lot of quick play actions, a lot of quick passes over the middle of the field uh, to his big receivers. He's going to change up his offense a little bit right wow. here. Wow. He changed up his defense as well, started bringing more heat on that first possession, playing coverage all, right. all day. So, Ah, oh, here he goes. <laughs> yeah, he can't fool me, Monster. <laughs> I knew it. Gets nothing. So it goes back to the old reliable. Shotgun formation with Favre. There's the PA, there's the pop pass. And Randy Moss gets carried to the 45. That's a good sign right there for Moss though, when he's able to get Randy Moss to hang on to a ball like that in coverage. Two defenders on him. It's a good start to the game. Play action, Favre throws it outside and it's picked off! Stevie? No, no, we've been over this, Scott. Okay, we call it a dot if it's a good play, but this is a Todd because it's the opposite of a dot. And what is the opposite of dot? Todd. Anything to get you fired up, man. <laughs> it doesn't take much. Ball to 45. Hey, I, I'm allowed to troll too. And McNair throw will away. just throw it away. So that'll bring up second and 10. Yeah, good throw away. 0 for 3 to start this game right here for McNair and Scheme. So his offense not 
really clicking on all cylinders right now. It's not really what we're accustomed to seeing him so far in this tournament. He's really been able to move the ball at will, whether it's on the ground, whether it's through the air. Uh, right now it goes back to that Gunnace Twins he feels most comfortable in. As there's no deep safety right now up in the box. You got the deep safety as a user defender right near that right guard. You're gonna see Monster. The blue circle at the snap of the ball, that's the user defender. So second and 10 from the 45, McNair rolls to the right. Has a man and it's McCaffrey. And he'll force him out of bounds at the nine yard line. Yeah, and Steven says he likes to use motion uh, when he uh, runs his plays here because it gets unique routes into different areas of the field that uh, most competitors aren't used to seeing. It is exactly what you saw right there, motion over post uh, to Ed McCaffrey. So first and goal from the nine. We got a scoreless game here in the first. And Lynch runs into a wall of defenders, including Randy White. Yeah, and I was actually talking to Monsa's uh, dad uh, before this game. I went over and had a quick chat with him, and he said, if he doesn't turn the ball over, he'll be looking pretty good. Can't turn the ball over. Monsa's recognizing himself. He can't turn the ball over uh, in this one, but scheming right now, putting together a nice drive ball in the nine. So Steeman comes out with McNair once again. Lynch in the backfield. Graham in motion. He'll go back to the running game, and Lynch will not win that battle. He'll bring up third down, and he decides to go quick. Yeah, a lot of the guys we've seen here today, when you get uh, into this air, red area, you, you got to come away with touchdowns. Guys that came away with field goals, they're not playing right now. Bunch to the right, sends McCaffrey. Throws it to the back of the end zone, and Jimmy Graham has been absolutely fantastic for scheming today. And if you're scheming, the first, very first question you ask. Oh, we got a review. Hold everything. And he's going to have to kick the field goal. His, Graham did not get the feet in. His feet were out of bounds. And that's a big turn of events right there. Take it one more time. Here's the instant replay. Back in the end zone, one fit down, two Ooh. foot. We're gonna have to get super slow-mo on that one to really analyze that. But no, he's not in for the touchdown. That's a setup for the field goal. Look, that's like that second foot was on the white in the back of the end zone. So holds him to three. Let's mark that moment. It's a four-point difference. Leading by three, 126 to go in the first. Moss, that's just a money play. I, I, I love the, the, the commitment to that, right? I mean, not uh, listen, he could throw six picks in this game mm -hmm. if things don't go the right way, but he will stick to the strategy. The play action pop passes are really effective for him. Good play. Finds Cooks up the sideline to the 20, and he's knocking at the door of the red zone. Yeah, there is one more time. Brandon Cooks down that sideline, getting behind that defense. The play action keeping the defenders Keeping their eyes in the backfield is, is what that is doing. The, the, the play action forces the defenders to momentarily look. Is it a run? Is it a pass? So that's why he likes it so much. Throws it toward the end zone. It's going to be an overthrow. And just as well, Mel Blount on the coverage. And now ball on the 20-yard line here. Move the ball downfield in a hurry here. Trying to come away with a touchdown. Signs to go to Johnson. Trucks one, but can't get out of the grasp of Anthony Barr. An aggressive play call right there from uh, from Scheman. He goes a cover zero blitz, looking to generate some pressure against Monster there. So third and nine. Great play call. Swings it out to David Johnson. He's one on one, and Mel Blount rises to the occasion. And that is why you see Melba on the field when you have a big time player that can defend in the short flight. Watch this right here, one on one, one on one right there. Mel Blunt just ponies up and sticks a man. Fourth and one. It looks like he's gonna go for it, trailing by three. Could tie it up with a field goal. Smart, and that's I think, smart. I think cooler heads have prevailed as we move to quarter number two in this final. We got a tight one. You never know, he could fake it. Never know. I've seen it. TT23. You've seen it in the Shout finals? Out. In the finals of a tournament? <laughs> no, I have not. TT23, though. Shout out to him for all those fakes a couple of weeks back. And it's up and it's good. Wasn't powerful, but it still counts as three. Tie ball game now. Both these players getting into the rhythm and the flow of the right. game. Championship, championship games really do feel different. And 
it, it's difficult to get into the rhythm of a game because you're, you want to play conservative. You don't want to take a risk that could cost you, but you got to play your typical game plan to give yourself a chance to win. Well, both teams have scored three, but we could have the scores in the 40s. <laughs> as I thought, we, you saw that in the last game with SC and Scheme in that second quarter. You know, we had almost 30 points combined. Yeah, and right there, Scheming listening to a little bit of the future right there, trying to uh, predict his own future here with this drive coming up. So 4.53. Ball at the 16. And he's going to mix it up here, goes to the bunch. Got Lynch off to his left. McNair in the gun. And that's where he'll go on a slight delay that goes nowhere. Yeah, I like that play call. It, what you see a lot of times from Monsta is he likes to play coverage defense, so he usually will drop defensive linemen. Uh, rather than have them rush after the quarterback, he'll have them drop into coverage. The halfback draws are really effective at attacking that style of defensive game plan uh, because your defenders drift away from the line of scrimmage and then the offensive linemen get an extreme push to push up field. But on that play, it didn't work out for him. But I do like the halfback draw commitment by Steven. Got a little cat and mouse game oh, going absolutely. on early in this one. Second and 10 from the 16. Every time we motion to Cap, we hear big plays. Has time, throws it into coverage, but McCaffrey holds on at the 40. Shout out to all the old school Madden players for that animation you saw right there. McCaffrey, you can see right here, that motion post over, posts up, it gets the old school RC animation. You gotta love that right there. Bringing back some memories here at the 40 yard line. Four minutes to go in the half. We're in the finals, live from Levi Stadium. <laughs> it's got to be up there, right? They hosted Super Bowl 50, probably number two of importance yeah, is this finals. Well, this one, well, this one, yeah, this is very up there in, in the, the grand scheme of things. A big time matchup here between two of the best players in the world. Forget Beyonce. <laughs> Forget Taylor Swift. That was, that's what I was trying to get at. <laughs> so second and eight. At the 42-yard line. Scheming going to work. Out of the backfield here, Marshawn Lynch. Rolls to his right. Throws it off his back foot and finds McCaffrey. And we're gonna have a third and three at the 46-yard line. Yeah, McCaffrey's been playing a big role in this offense here for Scheme and all his other uh, offensive weapons are, seem to be shut down, but McCaffrey's the guy that's really been the difference maker in this game. Can't wait to see how uh, he keeps playing and performing for him in, uh, as this game unfolds. Double tight end. Quick pass to McCaffrey on the outside, and he'll pick up the first down at the 50-yard line. Yeah, McCaffrey's just a matchup nightmare right now. Six foot five, he's great downfield. He's got the ability for quick routes right here. You can see a quick out pattern, runs a crisp route. Easy first down there for Scheming. I'll be honest, McCaffrey and Jimmy Graham match up nightmares. And Lynch ain't so bad himself as he picks up six yards. Yeah, he falls forward for six yards. Uh, he got tackled after about two yards. Falls forward for four. It's a big truck right there. So two minute warning here in the first half. We're in the finals of the 49er Club Series Championship. What'd you say, Monster 15th in the world? 15th Schemen in the world. 42? The Madden Championship Series points. Monster is ranked 15th, and Scheman is ranked 42nd. 42nd. So a chance to Where are to you on that list, Scott? Um, <laughs> over 9,000? <laughs> a million. Somewhere in there. I'm right behind you. 9,001. So second and four. We're retired. I would have. I would have retired. I probably went on prices right if I picked 9,001. <laughs> That's the move. McNair has some room. He'll take off with it. Got to get down, and he does at the 35-yard line. Aaron McNair, one rush, 10 yards. That's what you need. Mobile quarterbacks cause problems for you. The last line of defense for your offense scrambles outside that pocket. You can see one more time here. Hit the replay. Scrambles. No one in the vicinity of McNair. He drops. Scrambles. First down. Baseball slide. That easy. It's a ball at the 35. Clock ticking. Scheming. 
in a tied game. Goes right up the gut. And hello, get out of the way. Here comes the beast mode. Yeah, physicality right now for his offense right now. That's the name of the game right here. You can see handoff inside, evade one defender. That big, be a big truck right there. Get off me, Bradbury. Who are you? Absolutely. Oh, Bradbury, we're sorry. Second sorry, and we're six. <laughs> Clock ticking away. Listen, when we saw that last game with Monster, he didn't really turn it on with his offense or defense. Uh, until late in the game, and it's kind of, of a similar uh, way this one's unfolding. A lot of coverage, he's not really dying off the pressure, so he gotta, is he kind of running the same game plan that he had in his last matchup? That's the football outsiders, Bradbury. Throws it, what a pass! Beat him. And once again, Jimmy Graham. Tough, it's tough. You can see the emotion, both players. You can see he tried to fit this ball in. He sets his feet, delivers it, but oh. Jimmy Graham just drops the nugget. Off the shoulder pads. Third and six. That's two. That's two for Jimmy Graham that really Scheman's been having all day. Oh, yeah, last game, three touchdowns. And right now, Jimmy Graham not stepping up, performing for him the way he needs him to to win this game. McNair on third and six. And a nice job finding Lynch, but he throws it toward the sideline. It'll be fourth and four. Probably one of the bad things there also is the clock stopped. Yeah, here we go. Another field goal opportunity. Go up 6-3. It's been a game of field goals here. Every time you kick a field goal, you're one possession away from going home. One more possession away from going home, rather. So the Fig Newton's good. He's up three now. He's, he's still he's still <laughs> thinking about that Jimmy Graham uh, drop right there. You can see that is, that's on his mind, but he needs to get his mind right here for a defensive stance. 30 seconds remaining here in this half. Can't let up a big play here. It, this is where a mental lapse can really cost you here. You need to be, stay focused, play your defense. Can't let Monster get in the field goal range here. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. So first and 10 with 28 seconds to go in the half of the finals. Motion to the right. Favre barking out the orders. Looking downfield, and there's Brendan Cooks, and he knows how to drag the feet. Yeah, right there, that's what I'm talking about. Leave a wide open deep corner pattern in Cooks. He gets his feet in bounds. Possession catch down that sideline opposed to Jimmy Graham. Not making the play, so right now, it's coming down to the individual playmakers on each of these squads. And they're gonna review it. And I think they will say the call stands. So, ball at the 41. Appreciate the booth review, just to make sure. In plus territory with 22 seconds, and he does have two timeouts. Trailing by three. Julio Jones here, if he gets time in the pocket. And he'll find Moss. Will take a big hit at the 33-yard line, so he's in field goal range now. He has a, a guy you might know, Justin Tucker. I remember Justin Tucker this time, but th th what a great drive right here. You had 28 seconds and two plays. You got the ball all the way down to the 33-yard line, so great execution for Monson on this drive. Favre. Good heat off that right edge. Can't get rid of it, but the good news is he didn't take a sack. That would have pushed him out of field goal range. So now in third down, third and two. A quick throw right up the back of David Johnson. Yeah, he threw it a little too soon. If your receiver runs their route and they don't look back, you can see right here, he's still running his route. You can't throw him the ball that early. He's not looking at the ball. That's what happens. You gotta wait for your receiver to run their route with a run through and clear through the route, they will look back at the quarterback, and that's when they'll catch the ball. This is a pressure field goal. I know it's just the first half. He's still thinking about that. And this is Justin Tucker, though, from 50. You know, and just gets over the bar, and we're tied up at six. Yeah, he, I mean, he, you can, emotionally, you can see it on it. He's still thinking about some of those, uh, those drop passes right there by Graham. Love to know what's going on in his mind right now. Uh, specifically about it, but he's got some work to do here. Left to go uh, as we get approach the second half. Here comes the squib. Jimmy Graham picks it up. <laughs> Clock ticking down at three seconds, 40. 
yard line is where he'll have it. So he's 60 yards from pay dirt. And I say you throw it up. Yeah, chuck it up one time. See if you get a swerve going here. Uh, if you're scheming. It's about all you can do in this situation. If he's out the backfield. McNair, we know he's got the arm. He'll throw it quick. See if he can do some stick work with Lynch. But like can't it. get it going again. Safe play to end the half. And we've gotten no further than we started. I like that. He motions out Lynch. He knows he's going to have him uncovered going up against a safety. And Lynch breaks one tackle but couldn't finish it. But that's a good play design right there from uh, Steven. So now Monsta will have it to start the second half. He'll have the ball at the 18-yard line. Possession is now in favor of Monster. Yeah, and this game is going to come down to who makes the first mistake or who makes the first big play. Right now, both of these players still feeling each other out in this one. Haven't really seen the big play yet. Monster now coming back down to a running set. Haven't typically seen him do this consistently. Johnson falls forward for a couple yards there. I know we talked about the ball security with David Johnson. It has, about to, it. it has to be on your mind. You it know, just does. And, and this is part of it, too, is like, you know, Johnson's a great player, but when, you know when you're playing with one of those guys, right, in Ultimate Team, and you're just like, yes, no, he has this issue. He fumbles the ball, or he has the drops, right? Johnson is a guy, he will fumble the ball, and you never truly know when it's going to come. But when you have all that hip power in the secondary, all of your linebackers have all that hip power, it's got to be in the back of your mind, and it is for both of these players. Uh, when is the fumble going to happen? So first and 10 after they move the change at the 30. And it's a busted play. And Favre does a good job only to lose one. Yeah, Favre's not the guy you want running the ball in the backfield like that when you got defenders chasing him down. But luckily there, he hung onto the rock. You can see here, bot snap. He doesn't get the ball off. Now Favre becomes the running back. And really, you got to give a lot of credit to just the defensive pressure that came up the middle. Disrupted the play. And that should have been a pick. It was an overthrow. And that'll bring up a huge third and 12. Yeah, that's what we get, we see Monster get in trouble, right? He throws a lot of high point passes off those quick play actions, and when you get overthrows, that's where he gets into trouble. And he will go deep. Man coverage to Julio! And he's down to the four, the biggest play of the game. And right there, that is an absolute strike down field. He gets behind the one-on-one -on -one coverage, and Julio Jones. To see you later, Melbourne, all the way down to the four. Favre giveth, Favre taketh away, and this yes. time he throws an absolute strike. And DJ will get in there for the score, and Monster takes the lead. Yeah, and I, and I, I, I sort of agree with that mindset that you saw from Steven. You saw him bat his hand at the camera there, and that's more of a understanding the situation. He felt like he had uh, a monster in a tough spot there after that uh, that broken play to to Favre, and then he just he, sometimes those uh, deep balls will just open up uh, against your defense. So I, I think he feels like that was a kind of a gimme to to Monster. And he'll he'll clean that up in his next drive. Well, and that's what you get with Monster too. I mean, he's not afraid to throw it deep. Sometimes oh, it gets it. picked off, and sometimes you get. Incredible deep plays like that. I've never seen a guy just more confident just chucking the pill all over the field. He just throws it everywhere. It doesn't care. It, it, I mean, that's great confidence. He's an aggressive player. And that's what makes him one of the best players in the world. Number 15 in the world against number 42. First and 10 from the 22. Eric McNair's now got to go to work. Trailing by seven. Scheming. Looking downfield, and a great job to hit down. And I tell you what, you, you, you trust in your stick work, and that's really what Scheman does. Yeah, he scrambles out the pocket. He wants a couple deep options downfield, but he then dunks it down underneath the Marshawn Lynch and then takes advantage of that stick work for a big play. He needs to throw this one away. Got lucky. Doesn't get, Got doesn't lucky get the throw away, but does let it harmlessly fall to the turf. And guess who? That's there it LT. Is. LT's been causing problems all day long in this tournament for opposing players of Monster. And he does it one more time there for Scheman. Let's go! Flex round! Flex round! So second and ten. Here we go, check it out. Lawrence Taylor's the reason the left tackle is one of the most highest paid players on the team. And he goes to Marshawn Lynch. And Lynch will get to the 49. So it'll be third and two. 
I'll tell you right now, you got to move the chains. Yeah, ball security really important for both these players at this stage of the game. Third and two. You know, look at all the defenders. They're all up in the box. That is opening yourself up to a big play downfield, but it also gives your run defense extra support now. Here we go. Fourth, Fourth and inches. Got to go quick. Let's see if Monster brings all those defenders up in the box. Yes, he will. Bring the safeties up in the box for extra run support. And they will hand it to Lynch. And why not? Because he's going to fall forward. A little awkwardly there, but he gets the first down. Yeah, I, I like that scheme that went no huddle there. He had a favorable matchup. There was only three down line, uh, and, and that's where he, he was able to convert inside. So first and 10 at the 48, trailing by a touchdown with 1.42 to go here in the third quarter of the finals. Needs to tie this thing up. Got to get rid of it. Throws it into double coverage, but it's an absolute dart. In front of the safety, behind yep. the corner. That's that, what you need. That's, that's a tough throw right there. And the way you deliver that is you have to have a, a, a pass lead be towards the sideline so you lead the receiver towards the sideline and not upfield. And that's how you complete those type of plays. He's going to take a sack. And Randy White is there, the former Dallas Cowboy. You know, that's still keep, he's still in field goal range there, but that's a big sack on first down right there. Eight-yard loss to make it very difficult here to convert for a first down. Second and 18. A little motion puts Julio off to the right. Double tight end. We'll roll that way. Got to get rid of it. Finds McCaffrey down to the 23. A huge completion. Had to have it. Yeah, and there's that man again, Ed McCaffrey, making plays for Steeman. And what I like right here, though, for Monster, he's going back into that High pressure style defense. He's dropping down to a nickel blitz, sending pressure off that left edge. This is the formula. This is how he won that last game against uh, uh, in the, his previous matchup. Uh, and this is how he's going to have to try and get out of here with a win as well. Great play. It was second and long. Now it's third and manageable. Ball to 23, just outside the red zone is scheming. Barking out the orders, changing the play. McNair takes off. Wow. Gotta get down. Gotta get down. And they might take this to the house. This changes the game. Jalen Ramsey will go all the way. And we talked about the importance of who makes the first big play or who makes the first big mistake. It looked like the big play was in the hands of Steve McNair and scheming, but not sliding with your quarterback. You're gonna see it here. He shakes one defender and then he takes on about five more. And not only does Jan Jalen Ramsey pick up the rock, he takes it all the way back for the biggest play of this tournament thus far. And Monsta with a commanding 14 point lead. As we head into the fourth quarter, Zeon Sanders goes down at the 31. So you're driving down to tie the game. You pick up the first down. The next thing you know, you're down by 14. Yeah, and that's, when you scramble with your, your quarterback, you open yourself up to those type of situations. And, you know, he's shaking his head there, but when, you're, when you have the mobile quarterback, you got to make sure you get down. And we've seen him use McNair really effectively. He scored on those inside runs in the red zone with McNair in the earlier games. Uh, and right there, he just went a little too far with McNair, but still got an opportunity here. Two possession game, five minutes to go. Yeah, so many timeouts, five minutes is an eternity. Rolling out, Beautiful quick lead. throw to Jimmy Graham, and Graham will turn it upfield, and he'll pick it up down to the 37, and here, going quick with the no huddle, and you have to at this point. That's yeah, a good start to the drive right there, gets the ball all the way down to the 37, he's gonna check over to a gun trips formation, put three receivers on the right side of the field. McNair looking, gotta throw it away and he will. McNair right now 12 for 19, 203 yards to the air, no touchdowns yet. You saw earlier, Monster held scheming twice to two field goals as he got into the red area of the field. So, so far, missed opportunities for scheming on the offensive side of the ball in this one. Yeah, one Jimmy Graham couldn't get his feet in the second. He couldn't haul it in as it went off his shoulder pads. That's the difference right now. And they go to Lynch up underneath and it looked like he dove for the first down. Yeah, he was lucky on that one. You, you saw Monsta's user defender. He was on that Lynch route, but then he bailed at the last second. Scheming sneaking in a quick pass there. We'll go quick once again with 4-10 remaining in the fourth. 
Just He'll take another sack, and Mazda likes that. He just didn't see him ever uh, coming off that right edge. He, that was, uh, here you can see, scramble out the pocket, and then you push that right stick in, it's gonna send the closest defender that's in coverage after the quarterback to put pressure on him. Second and 15. Ball at the 32, the difference has been the scoop and the score by Jalen Ramsey. Throws it to the end zone, and McCaffrey has it at the three yard line. Still trailing by two scores. Ed McCaffrey has shown up today for scheme, and he's a th start throwing the ball to him in the red zone and not Jimmy Graham. Right now, Ed McCaffrey has been dominating on the opposite side of the ball for scheming. Great job throwing that ball into space and then going to get it. First and goal from the three. And this is where he can't st stall out. He knows what to do with McNair, and he spins in and pending the extra point. We got a one score game. Three for three so far in this tournament with those inside runs to Steve McNair when he gets tough. into the red zone area. He certainly has found a great play to convert when he needs to. And this one gets over the bar. And so the lead is back to seven with 322. And take a look at it again. McNair capping off the drive. It was a quick one as well. That's what he needed. Now he's going to need a stop. Sure. And I'll pretend like we didn't see that. <laughs> that was bananas. Deion Sanders just do doing things that Deion Sanders Dance, does. Dance Revolution just all of a sudden crazy. getting into the game there. 320. Well, Deion, you know, Deion, I've done some, I've done some events with Deion. He's crazy. Hands it off to David Johnson, and that's what he needed. Taylor wrapping him up for a three-yard loss. A yeah, good stop right there, first down, but the more aggressive defense is going to give Monsa an opportunity with one of these play-action quick passes to, to spring free on a big play. Watch guys like Brandon Cooks. If, if they get that separation and you get that cover zero, you could Quick pass to him, and he's gone. Three minutes left in the finals. The Niners championship. Monster with the lead. Great play call. I love it. Yeah, I like the draw right there. He's been getting a lot of coverage. We said, we said earlier that, uh, that that coverage, halfback draws are really effective against you because as your defenders drop away from the offensive line, the offensive line gives the, gets a great push uh, going after... Uh, the handoff. And here's a blitz, and LT gets home. Boy, I think I might use the timeout. Enough. I use a timeout right here. It, he, I mean, he's crazy enough because he's going to go for it. That's what you, you're going to, you can't call the timeout. Uh, you could because he's still getting you the backside had, two minute warning. Yeah, but. you would have had 23 seconds. There you go. I guess you keep it in case he converts. Monster is diabolical. Let's go, Make some noise. Going for the bread. For all of the bread, man. Throws a quick one to Cooks, and stopped. he gets stopped at the 28-yard line. And Scheman is in business. And right there, you can see Monster sits back in his seat. He knows that was a big play. Quick pop pass over the middle of the field. Brennan Cooks just gets stood up at the line for the first down. And we are in business here for Scheman. I'm not afraid to say, I just think Dion came up and made a huge hit. Looks good in that 49ers uni. Last play before the two-minute warning. McNair throws it to the end zone. Ooh. He's picked off, but he's out of bounds. Picked off, but not enough legs to get your feet in bounds. So that's going to bring up a second and ten from the 28. This is what this is what this is what you want in a game of mad. Your championship match coming down. You get a big turnover, a big stop, turnover on downs. Ball in 28. You get a huge opportunity here if you're scheming to tie this ball game. In the overtime. There's the crew. Rocking and rolling. Crushing it all day, telling us, hey, do this, hey, do that. Ohio, camera left, Ohio, camera right. Ohio, Ohio. So second and 10. At the 28, McNair. Throwing it toward the end zone, it's picked off. Big interception right there. And that's a turnover that can be extremely difficult for you to overcome. Wow. Throws an interception to the five yard line, goes to the I formation, hands it off. Johnson 
works his way to the 17. Yeah, and David Johnson, absolute tone setter. Big first down run. Scheming not using his timeouts yet in this one. And 120 to go. Goes back to the handoff. Breaks a tackle and gets to the 23. And, and he'll use his first time out. Yeah, here, that's, there's that first time out. All right, listen, now, this is the way you're going to play this year. You, you know, you know uh, Monster is going to go for it if we get into a fourth down situation. Uh, but here's what's going to happen. He's going to use his timeouts. You know he's going for it on fourth down. He already went for it on a fourth and 12. It doesn't matter. Uh, I mean, so you got to play like every single possession is fourth down from here on out if you're, if you're scheming. Second and four. Hopefully his opportunity did not squander itself away with that interception, but it's looking like it gives. Yeah, and you know, he went for a, a quick pass streak over the middle of the field himself. Uh, you know, see a lot from Monsta. Just didn't get the animation he needed. Now, coming out in quarterback Niels. Best play in the game. Yeah, victory formation. And I think Scheme is gonna be thinking, shoulda, woulda, coulda. He had the opportunities, you know, I, I think that fumble with McNair, you know, that was really the difference in this one. And you got to tip your ball cap to, to Scheman. He, he put a great tournament. You know, it, one fumble was really the only thing that cost him here in this championship game. That was really the only mistake we, we saw. Yeah, uh, had the first down, game. couldn't get yeah. down. We'll, of course, look at the highlights when the game's over, but... Wow, Monster, the number one seed has come in to Santa Clara and absolutely would not give way in this 49ers club championship. He's gonna be crowned the champion here. Let's see if he, uh, the old pump the ball as high as he can here, let the clock completely run out. I think he can punt it out of bounds, just as long as you get it far enough. But what's, what's the move, you, you come out and you, you snap the ball, run backwards, fall down, run out of bounds? That's probably what they would do in the real game. You would. <laughs> So you punt it high enough here, you're going to have the opportunity to return it. But Dion can't get away, and Monsta is your Madden 17 49ers champion. Tip your cap to Scheman, played tough. But when all was said and done, Monsta taking the victory and Gibbs. He looked impressive, looked impressive from the get-go. And you cannot turn the ball over, and that's what Scheman did when all was said and done. Yeah, in, in the closing minutes of that game, the, the McNair scramble, it looked like it was going to be a huge play for him, and, and he evaded the defender, but he took on one too many tacklers, and that's where you saw him cough the ball up, and that's where he coughs up his chance to be champion. Well, he's going to get a, 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 a big, fat check here from the 49ers crew who've been absolutely amazing host. And let's go down to our 49er insider, Joe Fan. Yeah, what a tournament it was and what a final game. Again, congratulations to Schema for such a great tournament. Monster, you came in and it wasn't easy. You had a great semifinal game against Nini. You got pushed to the limits again in the final. What was the key down the stretch, that big turnover at the end? Uh, just keep playing my D. I knew I, I was uh, playing cover three. I was going to get a pick sooner or later. Uh, Scheme is a good player. I give him credit. He's one of the best, and I'm just blessed to uh, be here. Let's bring over Sourdough Sam, who's got a little something for you. Uh, a little novelty check, a little handshake. Don't leave him hanging. And uh, that's uh, 3,500 bones right there as the champion of the Madden 17 NFL Club Series 49ers Championship presented by Pepsi Zero. Congratulations to Monster. He's going home with the prize. And uh, for everybody here at the 49ers, just want to say thank you to EA Sports and making this happen. We've been very lucky to host this event. Guys, Scott, Gibbs, it's been a pleasure. Back to you guys. All right, Joe Fan, man. We gotta get some, we gotta get some franchise games.